G'day guys, today I'll be showing you how to change the carrier ID or CID on your of your HTC One M8. So there are a few things before we begin. You'll need to have S off. Uh, you won't need to unlock bootloader, but you should anyway, but doesn't matter. So you'll need to have S off. You'll need the Android um, like fastboot and ADB files. We'll just call them Android tools. So I'll provide a link to those in the more info down below. So once you have downloaded the uh, RAW file, extract it to a folder where you can easily access it. So I put mine in the C drive and there's a folder called Android. So I have all my files in there. So what you need to do now is to get your device into the bootloader mode. And as you can see, um, I have the CID Google 001 and I am S off. And I am in the fastboot USB mode. To get to this, power off your device and hold the power and volume down button for like 3 seconds until you get to the screen and then select fastboot down here where the menu is and it should say fastboot USB so give it a while, uh, give it a little bit to download drivers if necessary but it should look like this screen now once you're in that fastboot menu all you have to do is hold shift and right click on an empty space in the folder and open command window here next what you need to type is I'll just zoom in a little bit you'll need to type in fastboot uh, OEM write CID one word and then write in the CID that you want so you the CID has to be eight characters long so if you want super CID so it kind of represents anything you need to put eight ones so one two three four five six seven eight and you press enter and it will send the command through your phone and if you could see or well, when you say this you'll notice that the CID is still Google 001 so to make it appear just type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader press enter and it'll reboot your phone back into the bootloader now you can see our CID is the super CID which is 8 ones so that will allow you to flash pretty much anything through the bootloader um, yeah and this will help you convert to like the developer editions or Google Play edition which I'm on now so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it useful please feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and also subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos uh, thanks for watching guys